Hello and welcome to USTS, the Ultimate Sports Training Show. I'll be your host for today's show, Bob Lemire. Joining me on today's show, Mr. Ted Zakowski. Yep. Welcome, yep. Ted. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, Ted's a, uh, a hunter, and um, uh, I, 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 we're going to talk about hunting. I know nothing about hunting. He's going to talk to me about it, and uh, he hunts... Um, uh, uh, black bear, uh, black bear, white, white, white-tailed deer, yep, <laughs> and deer, white-tailed, yeah, yeah, the animals that are indigenous to New England. There you go, yeah. Uh, so the, the bear is what got my attention. Yeah. Uh, we work together, uh, or not together, but we work in the same uh, company. And I see Ted in the um, in the hallways, and one day we struck up a conversation and um, started talking to me about bears right. and hunting bears. And wow, is that intriguing? Yeah, it is. You know. To you, and I know to you, uh, it probably seems like the world, uh, you know, you probably know a lot of bear hunters. I don't know. Right. I've never met one. You're the first bear hunter I've ever, I know a lot of hunters. Yeah. Uh, you know, deer and, and uh, duck or, sure. or, you know, but never a, a, a bear hunter. Yeah. So I get a lot of questions. Tell me a little about yourself, uh, Ted. Before sure. Um, you know, my background is uh, I originally started off with deer hunting, like like most people right. do. It's, do. It's, it's a very local animal. Um, to this this region, Drake at Pelham, things like that. Um, I took a trip up to Maine, vacation back, oh, I would say um, mid-90s, and we were in a region that had a lot of black bears, and of course what you saw um, were a lot of uh, mounts, um, a lot of pictures, a lot of photographs, things like yeah, that, yeah. Uh, black bears. So I, I got interested, and I started asking questions up that way, and I... Um, Met a fella who was a guide up in that area for the black bears. Okay. So we, you know, we built a rapport. I ended up going hunting with him a few times and it went from there. And I went from what they call a guided hunt, right. which is where you have someone that, that knows the area. Right, they right. understands the animals specific right. to that area. Help you out. You're yeah. learning. It's your right. learning process. Right. right. And they'll also provide the, the, the lodging and the meals if you oh, need things nice. like that. Oh, so yeah. Nice. yeah, so it becomes a vacation. But from there, I took it to a, to a different level. Um, it was something I wanted to pursue on my own without, right, right, without the yeah, guide service. Right. It had to do with just convenience and hunting in an area that maybe I chose one particular time and I can move away at any time I wanted. Right, right. Um, and it went from there. So I, yeah, I mean, I think I started the bear hunting in '95 or '96. How old were you around then? Not that I want to give you. No, 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 no. It's yeah. it's okay. I think I was just shy of 30 years old. Okay. At the time. Right. And and you already did hunting before that, yeah. deer hunting. Deer and, hunting. Uh, uh, fishing, fish, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just turkey it was, hunting. A lot of any turkey. No, hunting? no interest no, in turkey. No hunting. turkey hunting. No yeah, interest yeah. in turkey. Yeah. I mean, there's there's plenty of them in the yeah, area yeah, type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, so I, I I started going on my own. I started in uh, the state of Maine, um, and from there um, I ended up in the North Conway area okay, around yeah. Bartlett nice and Glen. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a great yeah. area. Oh, yeah. and, and to this day, that's where I go at this All point. Right, type yeah, yeah. Of thing, a lot of bear up there. A lot of bear. Um, I think it's probably the most densely populated. Uh, bear population in the Because you're going towards the Mount Washington. Absolutely. Right. So Absolutely. that area up there, you can't hunt up a Mount Washington area, can you? Well, well, there's restricted areas, restricted of course. Areas, you know? right. I mean, what, what where, where we hunt, it's on the White Mountain National Forest properties. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, everyone has access to that land. It's federal right. land. We, we essentially pay for that land type That's thing right. for right. recreation. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, there, there's areas up there that are restricted to hunting type okay. of thing. And yeah. there's all types of guidelines, setbacks from buildings and roads and oh, things yeah. like I that. Oh yeah, I would imagine. You oh have yeah. To. yeah, yeah. But 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 like I said, it's it's well structured. You know, the do's the don'ts are certainly in place. Right. And and even the methods um, to pursue the bears vary. You know, right. um, yeah. some people do the spot and stalk, which is nothing more than just going through the woods quietly and and hoping to happen across the right, right, the yeah. animal. Um, some people set up over natural feed berries, um, the nuts, whether it's the acorns or the beech right. nuts. Yep. Um, in the state of New Hampshire and Maine, um, you can actually bait the bears. So you really? can put the food out. Yeah, yeah. Um, states like Massachusetts, even though there's a bear season, they don't allow that. You can't Verm do that. Yeah, yeah, Vermont doesn't allow that either. Right. Yeah. Um, and some states, and don't hold me to which ones, but some even allow the pursuit of the bears with a with a with a dog or dogs. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I know Maine does it. I know New Hampshire does it. Right. I believe uh, Vermont and Mass don't do it. Uh, and like I said, I'm not familiar with the Rhode Islands, Connecticut's, New York's. Right, right. So you've done you've done New Hampshire, Maine, mm -hmm. Mass. Nope. You nope. haven't done Mass. Nope. But uh, I've been up to Vermont. 
Yeah, nope. So I've only done New Hampshire and Maine. Maine, and I've gone up to the province of New Brunswick. Okay. Um, I um, built a relationship with a gentleman up there who was a guide, right. and I really enjoyed my and time. And you have to get a license in each state, right? Absolutely. Right. No doubt. Yep. And, and do they, is it um, lottery, or do they just give you the license and say, no, you get one? Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, for the Black Bears, it's an over the counter purchase. So there is no lottery. Um, for instance, I think what we're thinking about is, is, is the moose. The okay. moose, yeah, the moose That's in the state of Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire, um, it's lottery style. You do moose? You ever do? I don't you pursue it. Moose, and yeah. as a matter of fact, I'm I'm certain Maine does it, and I'm certain New Hampshire still does lottery right. style. Right. I'm not sure about the state of Vermont because I know in the past decade, maybe decade and a half, um, the moose population has has gone down. Oh really? Um, yeah, yeah. You know, ticks became a big problem. Really? They kill them? Yeah, they do. Yeah. They'll they'll That's, affix themselves to the. It's why, and yeah. they don't do that to deer. Or bear? Yeah, so, yeah. It, it only seems to affect the. the I've the I've heard they bleed them out right out. Yeah, and that's what they Isn't do. Isn't that wild? It's it's crazy, and, yeah. and and I've seen them before. I I go up to northern New Hampshire uh, quite a bit, the the Pittsburgh New Hampshire area. Right, right, yeah. And if you happen across uh, a moose that's loaded with ticks, it's it's a sad sight. I mean, it must be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're really uh, uh, mangy looking. They've lost a lot of their hair. They've lost a lot of their body weight. They look yeah, very wow. sickly. Yeah. they do. It's it's you sad, just, you know. Yeah, it is. And I just said about that. I think last year, and I went. What? Sure. Because all animals you would think have ticks. Right, right. I mean, what's the difference between a moose and a deer? No, or a bear. Yeah, no, no doubt. Yeah. I don't understand why. There's got to be something. That. There's yeah. got to be something they do where they go. Uh, well, it, it's it's where they go. It's it's also probably has to do with the with the chemicals the skin excretes. Could you be. know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But for whatever reason, the, unfortunately, the moose don't have that 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 natural ability right. to right. shed those ticks right. off of them. So how many bear do you think you've gotten in your lifetime so far? Do you do you have any idea? Yeah, you know. Yeah, twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah, twenty two. Jesus, that's a lot. It is. And, it's a lot. And all right, so you you you're out there. And because uh, I got a million questions, That's I mean, okay. I, I've always been intrigued by hunters sure. because I think it's just so and never hunted. I, I mean, I've never gone. I I did uh, frog hunting with my father when I was sure. when I was eight and nine. Right. And he right. told me you better hit that because his buddies will come and they'll they'll jump you and stuff. Oh yeah, he had me going. So right. I, but uh, and I never got into it after yeah. that. Um, but I was always intrigued. Like you're going out there, yeah. you must be going early in the morning. I would imagine yeah. or anytime you want. But yep. uh, now you did it. You got a tree stand. I do, stand. I do. But I've also um, pursued them from the ground blinds, right? And that's a different, um, it's a whole different world. It's right? a whole different world, absolutely. You know, yeah. um, spot and stalks another thing where all you really do is walk those ridges nice and slow. Uh, you know, things like this. There's all different. But but you're right. Hunters hunters are an interesting group. You, you know? must have, your, your your clothing must must be uh, top notch. Yep. I mean, you freeze if you don't. Yeah. And, and your hands and, and everything. Because you're sitting cl- there. And clean because the big thing about the bears. They smell you. Yeah. Yeah, that's their number one really? way that they defend yeah. themselves. Their eyesight isn't anything to, to write home about. Right. Their hearing isn't any particular but better than ours. they can smell you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the big thing with that's them. You know, yeah. you know, You know, white tails, I mean, besides a, an incredible sense of smell, yeah. they also have pretty keen eyes like right. turkeys turkeys big thing is is the eyes too, yeah. type of thing yeah. but yeah but, but bear hunting fortunately um certainly in new hampshire and maine the season starts uh late august early september and it can run into the end of october so it's not it's not terribly cold yet okay yeah but as as you know up in that right. jackson north conway the wind and everything yeah, yeah i mean you can you can be mid-october and you can have days that are in the 30s there type of thing so you're so. up there and you sh- well, no. I well, I'd like oh, to think we dress enough. appropriate. Yeah, 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 oh, okay. yeah, yeah, we do. But 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 like I says, you got to have the right gear. So That's so you got gloves on, yes, and sir. you're in your tree stand. Yep, and uh, you got. And all of a sudden, here his here comes a bear. Yes, oh, sir. you see it. You got to take the gloves off slowly because they well, their the hearing isn't that good. You say correct, but you got to take the gloves off. You can keep the gloves on. I mean, it depends on what type of weapon that you're okay. using. Okay, all right, yeah. I mean, if you're using, um, let's say, a rifle, right. I mean, it's a trigger. It's a trigger hole, and, and a glove will slide in there easily. Right. It's the archers, you know, the archers. So, you, yeah. have you gotten bear with with archers? With, with the oh yes, bone yep, you, sure, wow, sure. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And always in this tree. Well, you most time in your, you're in that tree stand. I think I'm. I'm. Just, I'm just. Just give me a moment here. I think of the 22. I think I've taken four from the ground. From the ground. Okay. Yeah. Three of them were by design, and by design that means that either I built a ground blind or I positioned myself in an area where I I felt the bears were coming through, and by the time they had passed in front of me, right. they were close enough for me. If if it was the right bear, okay, the opportunity yeah. to present itself was there. So you have to know what type of bear. 
I mean, um, male, female, I, you can't do a cub. But. Tough to tell. Tough yeah. to, in the male, female. I mean, there's, there's characteristics, but they always don't hold steady across the board. For instance, um, a male will usually have a larger head and thick, broad shoulders. Okay. Um, the females, um, they'll have the smaller heads, yeah. narrow, thinner shoulders. And they're small, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and there is no restriction on bears from a standpoint of sex okay. or of even size. All right. Um, I, everyone thinks of the deers. The, the, right, it's the same. It's not the same. The deer are a little easier to differentiate. Right. Let's face it. If it's buck only, you know you're looking for the antlers. Okay. You know, if they don't have antlers, even though there are male deer that don't have antlers, still. you know, you, you're shooting at an animal that has antlers, come down to it. When it comes to the bears, it's different. You can't, dif- you, know, d- you know, certainly distinguish male to female. Right. Um, they don't carry, a, you know, a card on them or a sign or That's anything right, like yeah, that. Yeah. And even the size, you know, cause, because the conversation has come up. You know, perhaps you put a, a weight limit of the animal has to be at least 150 pounds or, 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 or whatever you choose, right? 140 looks a lot like 150. Oh, you, you would, know, yeah, you yeah, know, in a distance way. Yep. But yep. And, and with the with the, the arch, um, how far would you? Archery, I, I mean, it's it's on the individual. It's it's how skilled you are with your okay, weapon. Okay, yeah. Um, I know people that they can take good, clean, accurate shots with a compound bow up to 40, 45 yards. Wow. And me, I was never that fortunate. I always wanted them in a little tighter, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. 30 yards or less type of thing. Right, yeah. um, you know, obviously, a uh, firearm is different. Uh, I mean, they have weaponry now. You can reach out a couple hundred yards type oh, of thing, you know. Wow, yeah, but in the woods of New yeah. Hampshire and in the woods of Maine, you're not going to see a couple hundred yards through any part of the woods. No. I mean, it's just too dense right, type right. of thing. And so you say you're up in a, uh, what do they call tree it? Stand. Tree stand. Tree mm-hmm. stand. Is there another name for them? No, nope, you got okay. it. Tree stand. Tree stand. Um, you build that. You have to build it? No. The, we used to. Okay. Now, 35 years ago, right. you would. You'd get out your two-by-fours. Yeah, if you, you build your own. If you built a good one, you got pressure-treated wood. But right. there's still plenty of tree stands in the woods. You see, you know, unfortunately, the hunters may have left them behind, you know, whatever they aged out or they got ill and they just never got around right. to it. So right. you, you see those every once in a while. But right now, I would say 95% plus of the stands you see are manufactured. Um, they're made out of an alloy metal usually. And they just thing. stay up there. Well, I bring mine down. Every oh, okay. every oh. area has restrictions. Like right, I said, right, yeah. some areas, um, they don't require you to bring your stand down. Okay, yeah. I think you should. I don't think there's any point in having that stand in the tree. Well, somebody around. else right. take it. Oh, well, I'll take right. it. But like... So if you if you were, if I was to go out in the, in the woods mm-hmm. and I saw it's a tree stand, yep. then I went up there, but it's somebody's tree stand. Yeah, you that's that's a <laughs> that's something that's obviously frowned upon. A local, yes, <laughs> that's like that's, you're in trouble, boy. That's that's like me seeing your pickup truck and figuring, well, there's a truck I'm gonna go sit in it. Type <laughs> I of thing, imagine, you know? yeah. But no, but but yeah. but most of the stands, and and I think where you were getting to, Bob, was this. There's different kinds of stands. Right. There's the stands okay. that, that you have a chain or a strap around it, right. and you wrap it around the tree, and you just secure it to the tree as tight as you can. It is safe, but then you need a mechanism to get up to that stand. Right. And yeah. There's usually climbing sticks. They call them or a ladder. Yeah. Then they have self-climbers, and that's a stand that's it's actually a two-part mechanism. Um, one part affixes to your feet, and the other part is around your, your, your body. Right. And as you scooch up the tree, almost like a, a pole climber right. yeah. type of thing, um, and then you position yourself, and it secures itself in place. And the advantage to that kind of stand is you can change trees daily if you want. Right. You know, the ones that, uh, the first one we talked about is going to wrap around the tree. Right. It takes a little more effort, so people don't tend to change those stands most frequently. Yeah. The ones that I've pretty much reserved myself to using too, um, they're called ladder stands. It's nothing more than what it sounds like. It's a ladder. Right. But at the top, it takes a 90-degree uh, angle right. um, towards the tree. Okay. And that's the base that you sit upon. It's not big base. No, it's not. So the discomfort must start really quick. Well, you know, it's, I'm uncomfortable thinking about okay. it. Okay, um, cold, and you get you right. Know, oh my god. Right. I, I mean, I don't know if you condition yourself mentally or physically, but you, you find that you can sit for at least a couple hours. You know? Right. Right. You yeah, know, yeah. and and you know the the thing is, they've to your point. They've manufactured stands now that are for two people, and they're beautiful. They're comfortable. So you have a – it's almost like a bench seat. they got to be maybe three and a half foot across. So if you're alone in that stand, my goodness, you got your backpack and your soda. So you'd have two people in, in one stand? You can. Oh, yeah, that's that's common. Because what you see now, and, and, and I love it when I see it, you see a lot of, you know, moms bringing their, their boys and girls out or dads bringing their daughters right, yeah, and sons yeah. out. Oh, okay. It's really nice oh, that's to nice, see yeah. that. It is. It yeah. is. But, but not only that, right? Um, you've never hunted, Bob. No. Next year, would you like to come with no. me? Okay. 
<laughs> but if, but if you if ever, I wanted to, yeah. but if you ever I were to just, get the interest, yeah. right? Yeah, you could sit in that stand with me. Right. You know, maybe for the first season, you say, you know what, Ted, I'm really not, you know, comfortable doing it alone. Right. Maybe I'm better off if oh, I yeah. coach through it. Oh, and that's where that buddy stand comes yeah. in handy. You know, right? Um, you know, and, and the stand extends beyond the hunting season. You know, many times I was fortunate enough to take a bear earlier in the season, right? But I wanted to see more bears, so I'd get up in my stand. Yeah. With my camera on my phone, oh, wow. and I would photograph. You so know. one bear a year. One bear a year, yes, sir. Per state, maybe. Yeah, per state, per correct. State. Well, so you go to another state if you. If want. I yeah. choose, those days are and, over. And you go alone, or do you go with friends? Um, I have a yes, I have a group of friends, cool. and, and 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 that this must is, be fun. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, you're talking about the hunters, and and it's really a nice group of of people. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of times, especially with the way life has become, it's been very hectic. You know that. Oh, yeah. You know, it's tough to carve that time out to get together right, with friends. Right. You know. Yep. But when you have that common destination, that common timeline, you know, you can find a lot of laughs, a lot of stories. Right. I mean, there's always a story. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, and, yeah. and, you know, what I find, Bob, the older that I get, the more I care less maybe about the hunting aspect. Yeah, well, and it's yeah. more about the get together right. aspect yeah. type of thing. That's what I'm saying. Like you just said, if you'd like to come. Uh, if I was in my 30s. Yeah. Like I would go, I yeah. would say, let me try it, boy. Right now, I, yeah. you know, it, 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 I'm in my late sixties now, so to sit up in a tree stand right now and shake, sure. and, and I'm 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 getting cold thinking about it, sure. right? Uh, but you you like yourself, you build that that uh, knowledge, what to wear, right. and and, and what you're gonna do. Um, and and we talked the other day about um. Because we talked in the a couple of times yep. in the hallways and sure. stuff, and, and like I said, I had a million questions. Mm -hmm. But you got uh, so you got your friends that you're you're hunting with. Now yep. you're probably all scatter. Yep, absolutely. So how many people are in those woods beside those guys? I mean, there's got to be hundreds of guys hunting. Yeah, well, I mean, there could be. I mean, the 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 thing about hunters is we we certainly aren't loud going through the woods. We're right, not it's going to be quiet. Yeah, and yeah. You, is it law to wear to to have to wear a, a bright? Uh, that it's a law. Certain states, certain seasons. Okay. Um, in the state of New Hampshire, right, yeah. it is not required. It's strongly recommended. In the state of Maine, it is required. Required. Yep. So you, it, you it, wear one all the time? I do. Yeah. I do. I choose to. You know. Right. Now here's the thing. You know, the, the concern for me is, as you mentioned, there could be a hunter, you know, 150 yards away from me. I'm not aware of it. He's not right. aware that I'm there, you know. That's right, yeah. You want to be able to certainly identify yourself clearly right. that, 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 that you're a person, you're walking through the woods. And I see it with the hikers now and their dogs, and I love it. You know, they'll put an orange vest on the dog. They'll, yeah, they'll, that's, they'll, yeah, that's, they'll wear an orange hat, you know, and, and yeah. it's it's a real nice way to communicate yeah, yeah. without having to talk type that's of right, thing, yeah. you know. And the, would, like, a bear notice that the, the bright colors are not really a... Maybe you know, a deer. Or... I've, I've, you know, it, it's tough to assess you because know. I've certainly been made out wearing nothing but camo. Right. I've been made out wearing, um, you know, the orange, things like that. Right, right. So it's tough to assess. I, I don't feel so much. It's more the quick jerky motions they pick up on. Right. Oh, I no, would noise. Yeah. Noise, no, yeah. Yeah. But and if you smell. Yep. Yep. But so you're not wearing cologne. Or no, anything. there'll be, <laughs> no, there's no old spice or anything like that and things like yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. You that's know? pretty wild. Yeah. But, but it's, it, 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 it's really, really an interesting aspect of my life. Right. Yeah. And, and so you're doing, you 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 every year you go. Every bear year. Every and, year. and, and every year you go, uh, deer hunting. Yep. But here's the thing. You'll appreciate this family, man. Sometimes you pick your your battles, you know. You know, if if I spend a lot of time in the deer woods in the month of September, because that's really my first season, right? And there's things to do around the house, or right. I feel things that get oh, done. No, get know. back off on the deer season yeah. type of yeah. thing, you know. Right. Yeah. This year I was fortunate where um, I hunted the whole bear season, and the deer season, as a matter of fact, just coming to an end in the state of uh, New Hampshire. On Wednesday, I think it's the fifteenth. I believe that's the fifteenth. So it's Wednesday. coming to this deer is coming to the end, and that's it. And correct. the bear is already done. The bear is ended, correct? So because because no, what what the bear are hibernating anyway? Yep, they're laying down by now. And exactly. the deer, why why no deer? Just just you didn't want to wipe them all out or constantly uh, hunting. Is that what it is? What it's, it's, the, what the deer? Why do they have? Uh, why do they stop like it around now? Wouldn't it be? Great to hunt in the winter. Oh yeah, well that's what it's, it, it's it's about population control, you right. know, and 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 that's the thing. I get asked a lot of questions about the whys and how comes and why right. nots type of thing, and states vary depending on. I always say this: the animal will dictate the season. Okay. Meaning, um, I've never heard anyone boast about all the big bears and all the bears you see in the state of Rhode Island. I'd be surprised if they even had a bear season. I never looked into it. Okay. Um, yep. But in the state of Maine, where they have plentiful on bears right. type of thing, you know, 
their season's a little more generous, meaning longer. They they actually allow uh, the people who feed them, the baiters, to pre-bait them. Right. They're allowed to feed those bears um, for one full month before you can start hunting them. Wow. In the state of New Hampshire, for the baiting season, I think uh, the max you get is five weeks, depending on what, what, what region right, you're in, right, yeah. but you can't pre-bait them. So it always starts on September 1st, and you cannot put anything in the woods to attract those bears right. before September 1st type of thing. And and yep. you so you go before hunting season or whatever to, to do some uh, scouting scouting absolutely so you do your own scouting I do and I do. um and, and so you know where the bear well, how, how would you know where the bear is just by maybe seeing the droppings absolutely or? okay and that's there's, that's there's, the thing huh? there's a lot of signs you know I mean the the droppings are the number one you know the, the paw marks yep maybe. and those those are tough because you know let's face it a deer has a hoof. So even in somewhat firm soil, right, it'll right. still dig in, you know, yeah, whereas the bears have those big, flat, beautiful, yeah. you know, pads and right. they, they put it down and right. my gosh, are they quiet too. But yeah. getting back to animals will always dictate the situation. Right, right. State of uh, North Carolina, we used to go down there for the deer hunting. You could take two deer per day in the season extended for months. That's, now it's not that they dislike deer. That's not what goes so on. many of them. That's right, right. and well, that it's about animal control type yeah, of perfect. thing. Yeah. Um, you know, I see deer. I'm, I'm, I ride to Mammoth Road. I'm right. Mammoth Road every day. Right. And uh, if once a month I don't see two run flying right yeah. across, and they go right in front of you. Yeah, they do. You know, they like, do. And I'm like, wow, it's got to be millions of, of deer everywhere around yeah, New Hampshire. That's, there's a good amount of deer. I mean, even Pelham, right? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's actually broken down by zones, the state right. of New Hampshire, and that whole Pelham, Wyndham. Hudson, Londonderry, right. that's um, Zone M. And basically, uh, they have the most generous uh, situation with hunting the deer. Okay. Um, they have additional tags you can purchase. Yeah. Their season, um, you know, for, for archery, um, it, it runs to the 15th, like uh, almost the whole state. But the difference is they allow either sex uh, for longer periods when it's firearm season and things right, like that. Right, right. Whereas when you're up in the most northern zone where there's, where from a head count standpoint, it's the least amount of deer per square mile. I believe they no longer even have any day you can shoot a doe. It's buck only all the way through firearm. Okay, yeah. Whereas in zone M down here through yep. Pelham and towns like that, even with firearm, I believe you get two first, the first two weeks of firearm to shoot either sex type of thing. Okay. So, so uh, actually, uh, the bow is is before the, the firearm correct it's start, that starts in the middle of september in the right. state of new hampshire yep all right and uh so you so if you if can you do archery and and yeah the, if you, you know get a beer on one and a bear on another no 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 you get bear, one bear. bear tags are only one one person dare because essentially when you buy and they call it a big game license right when you buy a big game license, what you're really buying is a firearm dare tag is what right. you're buying. Okay. But like I do the archery too. So not only do I get my big game dare tag, you know, I also get a bear tag for bear season. And I think it's an additional $16. It's, it's not super expensive, right. you know, right. and then I can buy my archery tags. I can buy up to two archery tags. Right. So right there, I could take three deer in one bear. Wow. Um, and like I says, in that particular zone, they sell additional firearm um uh tags right, right i yeah. i mean i have no interest in it quite honestly right. if, if i'm lucky enough to take a bear and a deer in one season i i'm done You're you good. know i'm yeah. good well, yeah exactly. i mean how much time can you spend out there to... well also it's it's, <laughs> it's time. i i don't i don't eat the the bear meat and the deer meat like some people do right. i enjoy it that's why i do it i keep it but do yeah. you give it to people i do, you do. i do and they must love it i mean What's because that? they do yeah. i mean i mean it all depends i mean they just like me, if someone gave me something I've never eaten before, right. a vegetable or something, I'm not going to know until I actually try so it. You try it, and it's going to be done well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And s some people, some people, they do like it. And my, my, I remember years and years ago. I'm a kind of a, not a fussy eater, but all of a sudden, my my uh, my brother-in-law made a stew. Right. And so he goes, "Hey, I got a stew. I'm, I'm eating. I'm going." this is good uh, this is good you know you're eating deer and, and, and all of a yeah. sudden i stopped right yep. but it was good so he gave me a steak yep right put it in the freezer i said yeah i'm gonna try that it was the worst thing i ever did in my life i put, really? it, on the, I put it on the grill i don't know right. what i'm doing right. and i i, get, I says you know, stew must be the way to do it with it yep. with, with venison yeah. anyway you know yep. but it was gamey and i kind of liked it you know like duck is gamey i like yeah. that too and stuff and uh so you must have friends that they love it when you come back with a uh, right now, do you do all? Do you skin it and taxiderm it yourself? Or oh no, no, no! You don't do um, any of that. Nope, nope. But but actually, um, you know, talked about the the guys. We get together the bear right, hunting. Yeah, yeah. I got one particular friend. He can go front to back. 
he can he can you know take the animal That's he can cool. dress it in the field he can butcher it he can taxidermy it i mean the guy is in the field oh you know, well well, you well know, not in the field you, right yeah you, you, but he it, does it all exactly yeah. you know and, and like i says i got no problem you know taking the animal um, you know, dressing it out type of thing, but then I let the butcher take over to do the. When you say dressing it out, I'm. I'm oh, uh, sorry. Uh, removing the innards. Right. So you have to do that, or it'll spoil. Is Absolutely. That Absolutely. And you're gonna know what to take. Yeah. So would you take lessons, or just by being with a guide? And once you've done it once, you've done it. I yeah. I I learned it over time right. um, through the people who taught me how to hunt, my right. dad and things right. like that. Right. It's it's a learned thing. I mean, everything's on YouTube these days. I yeah, I know now, but I can you got to do it. Yeah. And I you must be cover with blood or it doesn't matter you know it's not the it's not the texas chainsaw massacre <laughs> event that people think that it's going to be type yeah. of thing you but know? you're cutting a bear or a cutting a, uh, you, there's blood everywhere well the, well the or thing does is it just bleed on the ground well the thing is the blood is i, I don't know if we want to get into this but it's yeah. it's contained inside the organs right okay yeah. what we're not doing is we're not we're not plunging the knife into the okay. organs and I things see, like that's, that. Yeah, no, you know, you're just slicing it. Yep, just enough to get it open up. up. Yep, and yeah, and then and yeah. then do you have to eat the heart? The no, you don't have to eat the heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching too much TV. But some people, some people do. Some well, people it's do the old the Indian heart. thing, right? It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it yeah. is. And it's the, yep. the gods are yep. your favorite. That's pretty wild. Yeah, it is. Uh, have you ever seen anybody do that? No. Um, I've never seen him take a bite out of it raw, but I know people that actually keep eat, it eat the and they cook it. They yeah, cook yeah. it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they'll cook everything, right? Some yeah. of these people cook everything. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's not for me, but, but some people it Can is. Can you, so say you've got a bear or, you know, uh, a nice deer. Sure. Uh, you can't sell that? You make a couple of bucks? Or oh, no. No, no, no. Because, yeah. They, they, that, they don't, they frown upon that? They or? do, because it opens up a whole different. Different world. Yeah, a whole different okay. world of, right. of now it's profitable for right. you. I wonder if people, well, people must anyway. Hey, hey, oh, I got a dick. Well, well, yeah, well, they're they, friends. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you can't sell it on market. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. I mean, if, if it's going on, I'm not aware of it type of thing. Yeah. Meaning if it's legalized. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just something I wouldn't have no interest in type right. of thing, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you don't say you don't bring it home like the deer. I mean, I wouldn't know what beer tastes like. Have you ever tasted the beer? You must have tasted of course, beer meat, of course. You know, and you like it, yeah? I do. I prefer it over the deer meat. And wow, I prefer is it over it, the deer. Is it real fatty or is it? It's it's a little fatty. It is. Right. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, let's face it. It's that big. Yeah, That's yeah, their yeah. thing to That's do, the though. Big fat, yeah. They put on that weight to get through the winter because they hibernate type of thing. That's so right. they they're going to lose the weight as as they hibernate through right. the winter. But the point is this: to me, this is my my take on it. The texture is more like beef right. than the venison is. Right. I find the venison is very fine and grainy right. type of thing so compared to the bear meat. Why aren't you taking it home and eating? You say you don't eat it. What, what I don't eat? Beer. You said I don't. I don't eat the. Oh no, not not the heart. I meant the heart. My apologies. No, earlier I thought I thought I heard you say you don't eat the meat on the bear or the deer. Oh no, I do. You do. You bring oh, yeah. it home and Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So oh, yeah, you get no. your own freezer and yep, stuff. Yep, oh, okay. Yep, so no, it's no, not yes. just for it. It's oh yeah, I get a freezer in the basement, and that's what it's there for. Family it. like it too. Uh, um, some, yeah, they, some they do, but 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 like it says, if if I always say this, if someone offered me twenty pounds of of cow versus twenty pounds of deer versus bear or whatever, right. I would always take the the cow, the beef. You just know, because we're saying? used to it. Maybe, that's what right? we've been conditioned to eat. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But 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 I do enjoy the deer meat. I do enjoy the bear meat type right. of thing. Yeah. But but like I says, I just I have I, I can't see me eating you know an excessive amount every year. One animal's enough, like I said. Yeah, I could have, uh, a bear would feed you a whole year. It, depending on the size, right? Uh, I mean, there are bears out there that are extremely small, 100 pounds, and there are okay, bears that are extremely the, large. What's the largest you've, you've gotten? Uh, wow. Just just a little over 400 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Yep. That's Now, 400 pounds, so you take the Indians out and stuff, how much does it weigh after that, 300 pounds? Yeah, they lose, They lose. Uh, I don't think it's quite 25% of the okay. weight. I don't know. There's, there's ratios out there. But because there's so many varying ratios as far as percentages, I don't trust any of them. You're out there alone. Yep. Do you have equipment that when you do get your bear, yep. that you can carry it out? Yep. What, what do you have, like a... Ice fishing sled. It's a, it's a sled. So yep. you're bringing a sled with you all the time. Well, the, the sled will stay in the truck, of course. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you'll have to go back to the truck. Yeah. Yep. So you're not that far from the truck at all times? or you... Hopefully not. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but how are you going to... Maneuver through the woods in a in a stealthy manner, dragging a sled. That's behind what I'm you. saying. You know what I'm saying. But, but, but what I'm saying is, even with the sled, yep, uh, four hundred work, four hundred seven pounds yep. alone. That's what your friends are for. <laughs> That's well, if you don't have any That's friends with you at the time, then you're you, pulling that alone. Then you call them. I I mean, I've got a story where I had shot a bear. It certainly wasn't the big big bear, but it yeah. was sizable. And for whatever reason, I just couldn't figure to get it out of the woods. I called a friend of mine. He come up. 
he got it out pretty much himself. This, this is a technique, this you know. A technique, I, I would mean, imagine. Yeah. I mean, the the sled is everything. If you just try to to pull it across the carpet of the the, the forest, there's a lot of resistance. Now, when you say sled, it's just a, a regular winter sled. How, why wouldn't you have like a wagon, a nice big wagon with wheels? Because the terrain on the the the, the woods floor is so diverse. You got you would holes, oh, okay. rocks, stumps, oh, blow so the, down. The sled is just the one. sled seems to be easier and like says it, it removes all that friction and resistance type right. of thing, you know. And it's little, you know. You talked about tricks about clothing, knowing how to wear, you know. When you pull an animal like that or anything, you really should have like a wrist strap so your hand isn't, you know, using all the strength to squeeze the rope. The worst thing you can drag with is a rope. Type okay, of thing, right. you know? yeah, yeah. You know, you can go to the tractor supply. You can get the, you can get the straps. All kinds of stuff, right. right. Yeah. So what it is, the the loop will go through your wrist, and you still squeeze the the you, you strap. You don't have a harness thing. You, you can, can do that. Yeah, I've yeah, seen I that. Would, yep. I that's, would think that would you are using your whole body. With that's it, yeah. common. Yep, and and that works great until right. it's a certain weight, and, and then, once you get over a certain weight. It's too much type right. of thing, you know? Right, yeah. But like it says, experience will always point you in the right direction right, right. On, on, on what method. Yeah, yeah, do I need yeah. a friend? Things and like you that. you must, like like you could guide if you wanted now, right? You could. Uh, I'd have to get a guide's license, absolutely. You have, so you pass a test for a guide's license? Absolutely, yep. Every state has a test. Um, you know, I mean, it's various things, but one of the biggest things is the first aid aspect, you know, because if you're, if you're, you know, working people through the woods and you get into a situation, someone hurts themselves, yeah, then they need medical care. That's what a guide's all about. All right, you want to make right, sure that yeah. that person is anything good. can happen. Yeah, absolutely. And you can fall. You can see. Yeah, you're up in a tree. Well, I told you, I had a friend. Right. Uh, actually, was no. He was an acquaintance up at the mountains up where I camp. Right. And he was bringing his gun up with a rope. I don't know. And uh, he blew his thumb off. No I, kidding. I told you yeah. that, didn't I? I. Yeah, you I did. did. Yeah, I, I, we sorry. had a couple of stories, and he blew his thumb off. So he must have been pulling that thing up on a stand. Yeah. And it was facing his head. Well, it was also loaded too. And it was. I don't understand. Yeah. I would. All of a sudden, he had no thumb. They had, they gave him a nickname. I forget what the nickname. Yeah. Was. And and I'm not. I don't want to talk because he's been pa he's passed away ever right, since. Right. But uh, I always said, he blew his thumb off. Yeah. If you're picking that up that way. You right. blow your head off. Absolutely, <laughs> oh, it's just it's just one of those things. I mean, certainly getting in and out of these trees, you got to use some sense. Yeah, the gun know? can't be loaded for that reason. Type yeah, thing, you know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if the gun wasn't loaded, we wouldn't be having this conversation. And the funny thing is, of all the hunters, and there's going to be thousands and thousands. Sure. You don't hear of that many no. accidents. No, you don't. You don't. Nope. And you would think, oh, you, you one one a day. Yep. Because there's so many people out there, but. People yep. are smart. Yep. Uh, they have to be smart. Yep. What's the youngest you can you can hunt if you want to bring your son? Like, there is an age, and I don't know it. Yeah. Um, but like, you got to be at least twelve. Or yeah, 13. I would. Yeah, yeah I would it say. might be a little. It might be younger than that, but it's something they they call it for the deer season. It's called Youth Weekend in New Hampshire. Okay, yeah. And I know the the kids can be younger than twelve and right. thirteen, but they usually, you know, you know, they not usually they are with an adult at that point type be. of thing. You know, well, you can't let a kid go out in the, in the woods yeah. alone. Yeah, I but mean. but to your point, I I mean, just because my kids are now on the other side of that, my my youngest is twenty, right, and no grandchildren yet. So it, so at this point, like I says, I'm not sure as long as you pass that hunter safety course, right. Um, you have to be at least 10 years old, at least 12 years old. You have to you pass know? a course. You do, absolutely. To get your license, that. yeah, there's a hunter safety course, no doubt about it. And the gun license, you have to take a, a course for the gun license. Dependent upon state. State, okay. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. when I, because like I said, I'm originally from Drake. It, right. And I remember um, back then I had to get an FID card, and Anything. it went from there, and the safety course was still required. Right. You know, in the state of New Hampshire, um, there's no such thing as an FID card type right. of thing. You know, every state's different yeah, yeah, regulations yeah, yeah. type of thing. And and certain seasons have a certain type of rifles. Right. And, and calibers. And th yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like um, in the state of Massachusetts, I know this, it's shotgun only for firearm. So you can't have a 30 odd 6 rifle right. or, you know, a 30-30 or anything like that. Um, in the state of New Hampshire, um, you can use shotgun for deer and bear through the whole state. Um, but what you can't do is you can't use rifle in certain areas. Like, again, I'll reference Pelham because that's where I'm from. Yeah. You can't discharge that rifle hunting there. It's only shotgun, only you know, shot, yeah. because obviously it's, it's a denser. It's you denser, know, right. Yep, yeah. yeah. And, and you, what's, what's uh, 100 yards or 100? Uh, 100 yards 100 distance yards from, from a dwelling. House. From a dwelling. That seems close. Yep. It sure really does. Really close. Yep. I mean, especially if you had kids and stuff. I, I would be nervous in the woods. Absolutely. Uh, but, but you still don't hear it. You don't hear but Bob, you know, it, it's probably like driving a car. You, yeah, I guess you yeah. practice. You practice good safety type right. of thing. You know, a car is capable of going faster than it can on certain roads. Right. But as the operator of that car, you know, you have the responsibility right. uh, to, to to maintain control. You know, 
I I mentally, you know, think of that. That's almost like what a hunter's obligation is type right. of thing. Okay. Even though, you know, you're a certain distance, make sure, you know, that you're, you know, I would never take a shot at an animal that was even 150 yards away, but it was right. going towards a house type right. of thing. Yep. And, and so when you go out anywhere, say Mass, at the, I mean, uh, New Hampshire, sure. Maine, do you have territories where people say this is my area? Or? No, it, and and no? that's and that. Well, well, the the mindset's there, but there's nothing legal about it, type of thing. You right. Know? So that's... so so for instance, you know, I I've got a tree stand in the town of uh, Wyndham, right? Right. And opening day comes, and I look to my right, and sixty yards away, which is awful close for right. hunters to be to each other. There's now a tree stand of the tree next to me. And he saw your tree stand, it didn't matter. Perhaps, perhaps not. Right. You know, okay. I, I mean, you, you got to take people's word for it, right? Um, and, but you're right. There's been conversations in the woods. Hey, you're awful close to me. Well, you're awful close to me. And it goes from there type of thing. Yeah, I you can know? only imagine, yeah. But, but like I said, I find that that community, we understand each other. We respect each other for right. a certain type of thing. Right. And I've never seen one escalate to you've be never had a conversation. You've never had a big issue. Never, never. Yeah. Never had. Now, I, you know, like I said, we, we've had that where maybe both of us have shown up on opening morning. Yeah. We're closer to each other than we think. And we've had a conversation. Oh, I didn't realize you were here. Well, I didn't realize you were here. Right. Well, I had my stand up in, in April. I had my stand up in August. You know, it's irrelevant. There's nothing written as to, you know, who gets that physical right. area. Okay. They don't say for the next 300 yards in any direction, this belongs to them. Right, you know, right. Yeah. That's what private land is for. And I always end the statement with that. I also want to camp in the state of Maine. Right. If I feel so strongly that I don't want someone encroaching in on me once I hang a stand, right. I can go to my property, I can hang my stand, and if anyone hangs a stand next to you're me, the, no, on your property. they're on my property. And then you don't have signs, no hunting. So. No, I don't post my land. I don't. Right. I I actually don't have a problem with other hunters coming through. Right. But ironically, um, story similar. When I had bought the land originally, I had a stand. I was hunting. A fellow come through, and we had a conversation. And he asked me. He goes, "Are you the owner of this property?" I said, "I am." He goes, "I'm sorry, I didn't realize and things like that." He goes, I, "You know, I was on a deer." Right, I said, "No, right. I go, I have no problem with you coming right. through. Yeah. Certainly, if you were, you know, following deer already." Right. I said, "You know, should you hang a stand without asking me? No, you know what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. But if you want to hang a stand, let's have the conversation type of thing." That's but he, cool. he had no interest in That's that. Cool. Yeah. He was just on the, you know, he was tracking a deer through a little bit of snow and. Like I says, I was more than welcome to have him there, and and, right. and that's how good you know relationships are started. Right Do now. you track bear? Have no, you I don't. You know you, no, but you would track deer. deer. Yeah. yeah. The the difference is the snow. I'm not so talented. Um, I know people that can follow deer through leaves and things right. like that. You know, I don't have that skill set developed. Um, but I'll tell you what, if we were fortunate enough ever to get snow. Uh, and the bear season was still open. I yeah. still had a tag. I would love to give it a try. Just, it's just, just to see. There's not dangerous though. I mean, it, you know that there's a little more danger. Mo yeah, there, sir, sir, yeah, yeah. I mean, no doubt. I mean, I, I don't have the statistics, but there are so few, um, you know, bear encounters that that actually end up physical. You right. know, you never hear it. You yep. don't hear it. No. Very seldom. I mean, they're out there, type of thing. You know. Yeah. But but like I says, when you really think about the. The, all the different, you know, bump-ins, run-ins, exchanges. I mean, these bears, the first thing they do want to do is get away from you. That's I don't right, care yeah. if they're big or small, right. you know what I'm saying? And and actually, the ones that I personally have found that are probably the most, and maybe the word shouldn't be aggressive, but bold, are the adolescents. They're, they're just coming out of that cub yearling size, and they're so they not quite, know. well, not only that, they spent the first two, three years of their life getting chased out of areas because they were the smallest. Okay. So all of a sudden, yeah. now they're getting bigger, they're getting stronger. Yeah. Now there's actually some that they can chase out and they can stand their ground, okay. you know? All right, yeah. And and those are the ones that if you encounter them in the woods, they're the ones that maybe won't run right away. They're almost like looking at you, trying to figure out, is it sizing you up. Yeah, yeah. Not to come at you, but just to figure, right. am I going to yeah. run or not yeah. type of thing, you right. know? Yeah. But like I said, to me, all my experiences, the first thing they want to do is get away from you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, uh. So it, it's deer and bear are like complete different worlds. Absolutely. You, yeah. Yep, they sure are. And uh, have you gotten a bear with the archery? I have, yes. And probably I should already, but yeah. that's wild. Yeah, it is. So you have to practice. You do. That ain't, do. That ain't like looking through a muzzle nope. or, or a, a scope. It's a, and Bob, that, that's the point. You you have an obligation out there to the animal. I think, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You, yeah. you certainly do. Yeah. And and for a long time, I put the archery away just because, you know, I, I started my family. <laughs> I didn't have time to practice like I <coughs> like I should have been practicing. Right, right, yeah. So I made the right decision. I said, you know what, the archery is going to go to the side for now type of thing. Right. 
firearms a little different. I find that I can certainly be an accurate shot with a firearm after right. taking a few practice shots. It's not like that with the archery. Right. For me, at least. And, and when you archery, you just get the targets and you Absol- just... Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Because I, I have a, I got a friend and he's a, boy, they say he's unbelievable with the archery. Yeah. He's, he's a, he's deer hunter. I don't think he does bear. Right. But they say, boy, he's just... He'll he get can you. shoot, huh? He'll get you. Yeah. And, uh, that's, it's got to be a lot of pride because I do yeah. have the compound bow. I told you. Yeah. And uh, I had a, 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 I had a, a target set up in the yard. Sure. Uh, and you know, I, I'm not only talking twenty five feet. Right. You know, a, a 20, just practice it. Right. And you can get the feel. Yep. You do get the feel. Yep. But hitting something that's a, a target and hitting totally it, different. It's not. It's a whole other world. Totally you different. Make sure. Totally. Now, different. say you hit them. And uh, they moved, and you hit them in the side, and they take off. You got to go chase them. You sure do. Yeah. You're ob- again. You have an obligation to that animal to recover it, type yeah. of thing. And and you know, even a bad shot at some point, um, you know, you got to put in <clears throat> considerable time and effort because I'm sure that there've been you know shots taken, and maybe the individual was confident. Oh, I didn't take a good shot, or maybe they even thought they missed completely. Right. But and they then, invest a little time, and then they recover the animal, you know, fairly quick. Right. You know? Right. And you, what do you just follow the blood? Yep. And, absolutely uh, a lot of times it's not that as far as you would think they'll, right they'll bleed out Ab- really quick yeah. absolutely bob and and, that, and that's what it is you know i mean I, this is my opinion you hit an animal right it's going everywhere from zero feet from the point of the, the, the bullet makes contact to 30 yards that's and, it huh yeah they don't go wow. very far I, I thought they could go miles and just go yeah no no yeah, that's I, wild yeah I, I the deer i shot this year um he couldn't have gone more than 25 yards. Right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if he hadn't gone into some thicker stuff with some blowdowns, right. I could have seen him lying where he was at right. the end from my, from my tree stand. Yeah. And uh, so you're, you're, uh, you're stalking and, uh, or you're uh, up in your tree stand and sure. there's a deer and all of a sudden you hear, uh, you hear noise, you know there's other hunters. What, what happens there? Like they're, they're probably looking at the same deer. Does that ever happen? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I mean that. So you're both going off the same one. Yeah, yeah. And, and who got and, it? Yeah, it, well, it's it's the one, <laughs> the, the, the rule of thumb is it's the one who makes the killing shot. You know, I mean, I would have trouble if, if like you said, I can see a hunter 70 yards away from me. By some strange coincidence, the bear just steps in, um, the deer or the bear, doesn't right. matter, steps in right between us. We all have a 35-yard shot. There's no way we're shooting simultaneous. We're not coordinating That's our right. efforts type That's right. of thing. Yeah. If I hear that gun discharge or I see him shoot that arrow or something, I'm not shooting at the animal. I'm okay. not, you know. Right. But I'm sure there's cases where Well, I can only imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. Like you're saying, you know, you know, you know, Hunter One takes a shot, he hits the animal, but it's running. As it's running, it runs by a second hunter. And he takes the second a hunter shot. takes a shot, and he wow. hits it type of thing. Yeah, I never you know? think of that. A yeah. million things could happen out there. It could. It could. You know, it's it, and I'm, as I'm thinking as we're talking, it's like um, like watching a football game. You say, well, I can I can play for. They're not thinking of the rules. Right. There's eight trillion rules. Absolutely. And uh, some of them must be. Uh, legal rules that you have to follow, and some are just uh, ethically or, or right. Or, some of the written and some of the unwritten, the, the unwritten for, exactly. for hunters, yep. right? Absolutely. Do you have hunter guides? You must read all kinds of hunting stuff. I do. I do. Yeah. I, I I like to read in general right. type of thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll admit it. I've become uh, the person that likes to watch the videos now type of thing. Right. Right. Of course. Um, yeah. But I'll tell you, I've read a lot of great books. I've had friends who've written books about hunting. Um, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of good information. So you're going to keep doing this. Yes, sir. You, uh, you ever think of like even doing like your own little documentary so you can show your kids, grandkids and just down the road, like I've got, I've got videos. You got videos. I do. And you talk, I do. You yep. talk, you're talking to it. Um, there. usually you can't talk when you're hunting. That's right. Thing, right. But, right. but I'll certainly video the animals coming in and, and, and like I said, I just like to see them, you know? Yeah, of course. So yeah. many times, you know, I'll, you know, this year I had, you know, several bears come in right. and, I choose, you know, that, 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 that wasn't the bear that I wanted and that's oh, okay. Wow. And I, and I let it go, you wow, know, and, yeah. and that's what it's all about. Type you of take their pictures. I do. Good. I got videos yeah. and pictures right. and things like that. I know? get, I was up the mountains uh, at my camp and uh, there's a little um, restaurant down the road and, and then there's a bear that kept going into the, the garbage. Sure. And sure. the big, in the, behind the thing. So I got my, my five-year-old grandson. We went to the store and I go, I go, Jerry, Look at the bears inside the garbage. He's already in there. This yeah. was a big one. Sure. So, and he's inside the garbage. Like, and he's like, I said, keep your window rolled up. But we went close. Right. But we were, and I'm video. I video the whole right. thing. The bear went, got out of the, the the dumpster on on the two legs. Yeah. Had had the the bag. Yep. 
right? Like he was grocery shopping sure. and walking into the woods. Yep. We laughed, and I still have it on a video. Yeah. And so you must see all different kind you of do. crazy stuff. You, you know? do, you do. You, you never see two bears together? I'm not, I do. Yep. They're not, not a cub. I'm not talking about cub. I'm talking about a, a male si- and a female. Siblings will usually do that. Right. Um, you know, up until maybe even two and a half years old. I remember one year I was up in Pittsburgh, and that was the case. I mean, they were... They weren't giants, but they were decent bears. They were probably 150 pounds, maybe even 160 each. Male, female? Um, I couldn't oh, tell. you don't know. I couldn't tell. I, I would imagine I would imagine they were probably male because at some point when the female goes into heat, you know, much like a dog right, type of thing, right, yeah. that's when they break away and they do their thing type of thing. Because you know? it's, it's funny how, because they're so close to when they're, say, mother, cub, yeah. and sure. brothers. Sure. Or when do they decide they're going to go their own way? You think they'd want to hang? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I know from the from from the mother child aspect relationship, right? That that cub or yearling will stay with her until the next time she goes into heat, and then it leaves. And well, she'll chase them off because she realizes yeah. that these big males are coming around now. Type that's of sad. Yeah, it's it kind of sad, but it's tough. And, that, they, and they don't want to leave. Yeah, and and that's it's why mama. and that's why sometimes you see a, a female cub, a mother. I, I'm sorry, a female. Yeah. You know. With a with a sit with a with a yearling, and the yearlings can be up to 125, right. 130 yeah, pounds. Yeah. Yeah, you're so you're looking at two bears, like wow, they're both good size, yeah. you know. But then, like a lot of times, like you know, this fall, um, not so much the the cubs that were born this past January, but the year before, they might only be 60, 70 pounds at this point. But they're alone because she went into heat again or something. Right. But that's right. nature. We don't have any control on that. What are, what do bears eat? They're just are they just uh, they're omnivores. They'll well, eat anything. In the woods, meaning. Oh, so they eat dead carcasses. They will absolutely. They won't. They won't chase. Uh, um, this videos of it. It does happen. I mean, the if the, the legend. Yeah. yeah, the legend always was this: that they're not going to chase, pursue, and and down an animal. But there's videos right in New England where black bears will be um, downing a fawn or, or even a young moose. Really? I mean, we're talking a calf moose. Yeah, yeah. That was just born a few days ago. Never, n- never knew that. It's crazy. It is. Now you see, um, you see up in Alaska and stuff. The uh, grizz, yeah. uh, always catching the salmon. Always. Do they do that around here? The black bears? Do they go fishing? If the... they if they do, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen video yeah, of it. Because you don't thing. see much of the salmon jump like well, that. But... Well, that well, that's what it is. It, it's also going to be. I, I mean, they're really intelligent this way, that they're going to only expend enough energy yeah. if they're going to win at the end, meaning put more weight on their body. Right, right. If they're going to so. spend. 5,000 calories to yeah. get a fish, and the fish will only give them 1,000 calories. Yeah. They're pretty good with math. So what are they eating? Berries? Berries, yep, yep. And that and, gives them that, that. yep. So say they didn't have any meat. Yep. They'll, they they'll, could live off the berries and, and all that. They'll live off the berries. What they'll do is they'll get into rotted logs on the ground, and they'll crack them open. Inside of there is larva and all kinds oh, of things okay. like that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Protein. And, oh, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. protein. But, yeah, they're omnivores. They will eat anything. That's all they really want to do yeah, is go and, look for food and yeah, 90% of the time. Yeah, and, 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 you know, the thing is, even when they come out of hibernation, I mean, our bears... Uh, we're talking New England bears. They'll lay down as early as late October, but sometimes as late as early December. It depends wow. on if the food's still out in the woods for them or not. Yeah, yeah. And they're coming out of hibernation, depending on how far up north in New Hampshire you are. I mean, down here, they might be out as early as, I would say, late March, early April. Have you ever seen them in hibernation? Oh, no, no. You don't go? No, nope. no, I don't go pursuing them. I let them, I let them do their thing. And so when they're in hibernation, hibernation sure. they're, uh, are they in a cave, or where do they usually go? They don't, no, no. Well, the that's a, well, that's the thing. I mean, New England um, isn't cave-rich like right. some parts of other yeah, country, right? That's what I'm saying, yeah. So what they'll do is they'll make a den, and a den is nothing more a lot of times than just a dug hole in the ground. And, they, and, and they're smart. They're not going to dig a hole that fills with water when it rains. They're not going to be laying there in water, right. you know? So what they'll do is sometimes they'll find, uh, like, like when a tree blows over, the root system um, will be exposed. And you can actually see it's almost like a little right. you know, cavern in there, and they'll, they'll sleep in there through the winter. The whole like winter that. they'll sleep, whether it snows on them or not. Yep. And well, they, they'll they're so, and 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 that's that's the other part of the legend. They don't sleep, you know, like Rumpelstiltskin nonstop for three, four, five months. Type they of will thing. get you know, up. Yeah. Uh, they, well, and, and I don't even know if they roam as much as they do. They wake up in the den because they have they have they have now. It must be know, thirsty. Well, yeah. Anyway, but, yeah. But but you know the the scientists and the researchers right. they've they get the cameras in these dens. Yeah. And you can see that the bear will wake up and he'll his eyes are open. He's rolling around things like that. Right. You know he's what I'm not saying? Expending any energy. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's about expending energy and everything slows down the heart rate, the metabolism. You know that's why it just isn't loaded with waste. In now there. is that because of the winter, or say you had a bear down in uh, 
uh, the South. You're great. Right. They don't hibernate. They don't hibernate. They don't hibernate. Okay. So yep. I thought bears have all bears. Oh hibernate. no, no. It has to do once the, the, the food once the food source is no okay. longer available. No more berries. No more. Right. Exactly. Jesus, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought bears hibernate yeah. in the winter. And, and that's why you get into the southern states like South Carolina. And you've got some gigantic black bears because they're always eating. And, always yeah, eat, yeah. and and bears bears don't grow exponentially, meaning that they're like human beings, right? Um, my friend is six foot four. He's just a physically bigger man than that's I right. am. Yeah, yeah, but that's different. where his limits are. Type thing. Bears are no different. You can have a very old bear, male bear, that's one hundred eighty pounds, one hundred seventy pounds. That's, that's why. And you can have a relatively young yeah. bear, maybe four or five years old, that's three hundred pounds. Type People of thing. think it's oh, they're all the same. No, nope, and they're not. It's and wild. they're not. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Jesus, that's pretty wild. Yep. And uh, so, what's your what you're all done for the year now? Um, I'm still out with archery for the whitetails. I mean, I got one with my muzzle loader, uh, New Hampshire, but I'm I'm going for one more type of thing. But I'm I'm just enjoying my up time. in New Hampshire. Or yeah, in New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm hunting in Pelham right now. Wyndham huts in that area type. No, was it state state forest? You can go into state forest. Absolutely, public land. Always public land. Oh, type yeah. Thing. Um, yeah, for instance, uh, the, the, the the towns in this community I'm talking about, they've done a great job. They've they've established recreational right. areas, you know. Right. And what I've really appreciated is they've actually posted that hunting will occur on this property, you Ooh. know. Because yeah. I remember 15 years ago when there was really no signs, and it was pretty much thought of as a walking area, you know, for people. And right. that's and that's right. what it is there for as well, type of right. thing, you yeah. know. But then, you know, we would show up during the hunting season and they would question why we're there. You oh, shouldn't be here. Right, things like yeah, that. Right. What I really like is, you know, right now it's posted with the sign, you know, here's what you do here. Don't litter, you know, during this season, you okay. know, wear orange, you know, things. Yeah. Like, so I, I really appreciate that. Right. And you say white tail is it have to have a white tail for you to. The, well, I don't know what the difference it's, is. It's it's actually it's called the white tail deer because right. because there's all types of deer through the country. There's right. black tail, right. there's mule deer. So right. what they do is they differentiate the the specific species by that name. And the that's the only deer. thing you could hit is a white tail. All right, and that's all we have in this this area. Oh, okay, that's yeah. all we have. Yeah, right. we don't have black tail. We don't have mule deer. Um, of course, we have moose. Once you get into right. well, even even Pelham has moose in the area yeah. type of thing. But really, they you don't see much. Yeah, the yeah. population increases as you go north. Right. We don't have elk. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a that that's a that's a Western thing. Do we have do we have wolf? No, we don't. I mean, as far I, I'm going to say no. We I swear got, I saw a wolf on Mammoth Road. Yep. And if it was a if it was a coyote, the biggest white headed right. white headed coyote, and and he was right. chasing my car. Right. I, had a, I had a little Mazda. He's chasing right. my car down Mammoth Road at four in the morning when I go to right. work. Right. And I'm going. He thinks he's going to take my car, and he ran in front of me. Yeah. Yep. And then a couple of weeks later, he's sitting right in the, the same area, yeah. the same. I, and I said, it's a wolf. It's, in my mind, it's a wolf. I read about it, and they said they can come down from Canada. Yep. I don't know. And, and Bob, it might be. It I might mean, have been. I mean, I'm not to say, you know, and I mean, people have claimed that they've seen mountain lions. Right. And that's another one that I, I highly doubt. Type of so thing. you're out in the woods. You don't see these tracks, or you don't see... I, I see the tracks, but I've never seen a big enough track that's coyote type that would morph into a wolf right i've certainly you know i have no experience with mountain lions so i'm not even sure what the but track they, they say like. they're in pelham and they say they're around well that that's the word i mean or it, fisher cats or whatever you call yeah, them. fish cats uh, we, we have bobcats i've seen those recently in pelham well you're thing. out there yeah and they won't come after you nope, they're, they're, nope, they're just I've, more scared of you no that. i've i've put eyes on them i can confirm there are definitely bobcats and, and it's, there's no the hunting time. season for the for correct them, none, yeah. none for that but they're nice to see they are they're big huh they're bigger than you think. How's yeah, that? Yeah. Because the first ones I saw, it was, I, I guess they call them kittens when they're younger. They were relatively small. They were, I mean, they were bigger than a house cat, yeah. but not a whole lot bigger. And then uh, the next time I had seen a, a, a bobcat, it was obviously a mature, you know, larger one. And it was, it was sizable. I mean, it wasn't big like a, like a lab or anything like right, that. Right, but yeah. if I had to guess, I bet it was, bet it was 40 pounds, you know? It was, it and was so if animal. you're up in a tree stand, you must be see all kinds of little you things do. walking by. You do, and, and 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 that's what I enjoy more than anything else, Bob. You know, your nature. Su it's nature. Success yeah. isn't defined right. by you know. I I I got what I pursued in the woods today. Some, sometimes my best days Peace are just sitting there. Yeah, just breathing that, it in. It's a meditation thing that Absolutely. no one no one knows until they do it. Bob, some of the best decisions yeah. I've ever made were in a tree stand. And I decided to propose to my wife. <laughs> good for you yep some of the best decisions <laughs> that's I ever wild made. yeah yep. you're thinking yep you're thinking you, you your life can change that it way can. that's it pretty can. wild yeah uh, you're, you're up in a tree stand 
A little chipmunk, a little squirrel comes by and sits by next to you and Happens. just wants to, and you feed them or anything? No, no, no but, but I'll tell you. <laughs> they I look had, at you like, hey. Well, they think? come up the tree and, you know, as, as the trees are, you know, to yeah. your left and your right, your peripheral, you'll have that little yeah. head pop up within, yeah, yeah. you know, six, ten inches to, to, yeah. from you. Yeah. Type Looking of, at you. you know, what do you they are. Yeah, no, that is funny. It is wild. It yeah. is. Because, I mean, you think about it and you're quiet up there. Sure. So you're going to see a lot of stuff. You're in deep in the woods. or not deep, but you're in the woods. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. They feel safe. They do. And if, when you're up, they can't. You, the sense of smell is not right uh, unless and, the wind is blowing in that direction. Well, that's 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 the reason why you get into these tree stands. Two part, you know, you have a better view, no doubt about it, right. you know. But second of all, you're right. Any scent you may have on you, it it it, it drifts at a higher above their head. And you must feel safer up in the tree, anyway. I certainly do. I do. Even though you're wearing your your, yep. your your stuff, I mean, you don't know who's out there. You don't know the rookie. You don't know sure. anybody having a couple sure. of pops before he wants a guy. Yeah. I, I would be scared. I know? certainly hope that's not happening. Yeah, I would hope so. I yeah. mean, uh, yeah, I would. That would be like drink, drinking and driving. Absolutely, no different. Even worse, no you got a gun in your hand. Absolutely, you know? and you don't hear about that either. Yep. So that's good. Yep. You know, it, so it's a respectable community. It is. Uh, and Thank you. Especially you go out there and, and with all your buddies, and yeah. it's like. Playing pickup football or something once a yep. week, uh, you know, yep. being on a team or a softball team, and, and all the stories. Yeah, but 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 uh, yeah, I think you I think you hit the nail on the head. It's it's a respectable community. I can't tell you how many times hunters have assisted um, fishing game, yeah. in in searching for someone right. or someone's hurt just on a hiking trail, getting right. them out of the woods type of thing. Right. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's good. Uh, and, and now, did your son does he does he uh, does he hunt? I have, I actually have two sons and one daughter. Right. My so. oldest son, who is 34 now, right. just got into it. Uh, wow. Like two years there ago. You go. yeah. I mean, I always laugh with them. We, we joke. I said, better late for the party than never. Type he come with you? He goes with you? Um, he, he's just starting to now, okay. but he's, he's very independent. <clears throat> He wants to learn it himself, understand it himself. Good, good. And, you know, he'll ask me, you know, what do you think? He'll tell me what he saw or what right, he's right, seeing or right. not seeing. And, and we talk it through. But yeah. he's one to, to learn and understand. <clears throat> my, 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 my middle child, my youngest son, yeah. at this point, he has no interest. No interest. And, and I'm okay with that, you yeah. know. No, and, no, and, maybe, and, yeah. and, my, and my daughter as well. She has no interest. Right. But I'll tell you, um, they love the fishing, though. They do enjoy the oh, fishing. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good, yeah. And, and uh, <laughs> is, is there many women out there? You see a lot oh, of yeah. hunters. Yes sir. yes, sir. I didn't think yep. there would be that many. And and That's and it's wild. well it's it's fantastic because yeah. because what you get now is you got families going out yeah. there, you got couples going out right, there right, type yeah. of thing. You know, you know, it's common good. It's good common together. interest, yeah. right? An interest, yeah. You know, now my wife has no interest in hunting. Um we're both very proud of this, but for the past few years, She's much involved in helping me scout. She knows what to look for in the woods. Oh, wow. That's so I have fun. a second set of eyes yeah, now, yeah, you know, yeah. before the season starts. Just, just get out in nature. And, she, and she can hang a stand better than I can. How's that? That's wild. She knows what tree. She understands And why everything. doesn't she want to hide? What, what's her? It's, I'm not going to, I'm I, not going to press her on that. I I'm just grateful yeah. to have her out there yeah. with me at that yeah. point. Yeah. But you have to have that. It's got to be in you. Oh yeah. You no, got to be in it to, yeah. to, 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 to want to hunt and, right. uh, and it, cause it's not easy. People. It can't, you know it ain't easy. Yeah, it's not for it, everyone. It's not easy, and, and to especially on the cold. Yeah, and you have to. You, you, you better be prepared because you must see people out there go, that you're going. Oh, good luck with him. Oh yeah, I, I feel <laughs> he ain't for ready. Him. Yep, <laughs> he, yeah, a little coat on or whatever. Yep. And, uh, uh he's not going to make it. This guy. But it's you know I, I think it's I think it's where your passion is. You asked about turkey hunting. I have no interest in turkey hunting. Right, it's Zero. your passion. Which right, you, yeah. exactly. Right, yeah. And how, how old do you think uh, we're, we're going to be shutting down here? It's, That's we got, okay. We got we got a minute left. But how old do you think you'll be? Uh, how, how old are you guys? As long as I can get off the couch. Yeah. That's me. I've had friends and what that have, exercise. And what, yep. And that's what it is for me. Yeah. Like I says, you know, at some point I'll probably stop carrying the gun. I'll stop putting bullets in the gun. It'll be lighter to carry just through the go, woods. Yeah. Just to get yeah. into the woods. Yeah. Thank you. Thank nice you, though. Well. well, that's about all the time we got there, Ted. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, maybe we'll do it again sometime. So one for a nice fishing yeah. next. So you ice fishing. We'll talk also. ice fishing. Ice next. fishing. You yeah. got it. Uh, fly, fly fishing. No. We do that too. Whatever okay. you want. Bob. I used to fly fish, so uh, we'd have a lot to talk about. Yep. Thanks a lot, Ted. Thank you.